You know, Mike just talked about there's pretty much been falling all day. Tonight, the mountains are under a winter storm warning. Good evening, everybody. I'm Shannon Ogden. And I'm Andrew Trujillo. And some of you may want to take advantage of the fresh powder and hit the slopes ahead of Thanksgiving week. So how are the conditions? Well, we sent Denver 7's Russell Haythorn to Loveland to check it out. Uh, boy, the resorts really need the snow, Russell. Yeah, they needed a little help from Mother Nature, Shannon, and boy, are they getting it. We're getting blasted right now. The lifts have closed for the day, but check out all the fresh powder in just the last hour since they closed the lifts here at Loveland. What a day up here in Colorado's high country near whiteout conditions all day long. An epic early season storm in the high country making for a perfect day on the slopes. Enjoying it? Pretty good powder up there. It's awesome. I mean, honestly, it's been so much snow. Tim Myers is here with about 50 soldiers from Fort Carson, a day trip after an overseas deployment and training. Alpha Battery 212, 1st Brigade, 4th ID. So we got a couple of buses from Fort Carson. Got about 50 people out here. Conditions were near whiteout all day. We were just hitting this run up there and I was totally carving like this. Left, right, left, right, and then I was definitely going real fast and then just kind of caught an edge and went whoop -ah! Loveland planning to use this storm and snowmaking operations tonight to get more terrain open by tomorrow. As more resorts open, um, I think the level of excitement in the state just continues to climb. The first ski day of the season for many local families. They loved it. I mean, it was windy. Nice whiteout conditions. It was fun. It was powdery and, and nice bad. and not icy. Definitely cool to see all those kiddos out here today and those soldiers down from Fort Carson. In terms of the driving conditions, yeah, it is getting dicey up here, especially from Georgetown to the tunnel on the east side of the tunnel and then on the west side of the tunnel, a whiteout as well. So if you are planning to head up this weekend, which I hope you are, just be careful. We're live tonight in Loveland. Back to you guys. Yeah, that is intense. Thank you, Russell. Now, if you are heading up to the slopes, we want to make sure you're prepared. Here's a look at some of the resorts. Now, Vail doesn't open until next week. A basin, though, we know there are seven runs open right now. Three runs are open at Breckenridge. Loveland has seven runs. There are four runs open at Winter Park. There's 18 inches of snow at the base of all those resorts, and as you saw, they're getting more. And like we said, the mountains 